So Oppo hasn't been pulling any punches this year and it looks like they might have a device that will replace the P30 Pro for a lot of people begging for something out there. I'm talking about the Reno 10X Zoom. Let's find out if this is really a Huawei replacement. Okay, so Huawei took a lot of hits. The P30 Pro, we know they haven't sold a lot of units. They've, it's just a whole mess. And hopefully that gets fixed. But I'm talking about a device here that truly got me shocked. I was surprised. Now, I'd seen unboxings for the, uh, the Reno 10X Zoom. My buddy Super Saf has done that. But I finally got some time to play around with this device. And I've got to tell you, Oppo came out really strong. You've got that shock fin, which is, of course, so identifiable. Everybody knows about that. And it doubles as the front-facing camera, which gives you, of course, a true bezel-less display, which we'll talk about in a second. And also has the flash for your rear camera as well, which is yeah, a bit interesting, I would say. That being said, it's a 6.6-inch .6 device. The resolution is, uh, is roughly uh, 1080 by 2340. It's a nice display. Now, it's not the super sharpest, I would say, but it's still a nice display. And I love the fact, again, now we're getting more devices with no bezels. We've been getting that industry push. We had notches for a while. Oppo says no. No, not at all. And the pricing for this device is really good. It starts at uh, £529, which is about $629. So think about it for a device that comes with a Snapdragon 855, you know, 6.6 inch bezels display, in display fingerprint sensor, which is really nice and uh, uh, effective and fast. Each time you tap on it, boom, it unlocks. I like it, it's nice, effective, works really, really well. So you've got that there. You've also got a device that comes with either a six gigabyte uh, RAM variant, 120 gigabytes of storage, or eight and 256. So you get the idea there. And there are two different colors you can go with. now. What I like about this device is that Oppo just didn't stop there. Especially, think about this, the price point we started off, again, $629. You, you also have three cameras at the back, and we'll get to the camera uh, images in a second. You've got, uh, you've got a standard camera, uh, which comes in at 40 megapixels using that new half-inch sensor camera, Sony sensor in there. Uh, you've also got a 13 megapixel periscopic lens to give you, of course, 5X, um, optical zoom and 10x hybrid zoom when we take a look at some of those images and an 8 megapixel uh, ultra wide lens so they they packed in as much as they could in this device plus it's got a 4,600 uh, million 65 uh, milliamp battery and a 20 watt charging capacity with their supercharge so everything you want in a modern smartphone is there and I like the fact that it's also affordable. Now, with the uh, Oppo uh, uh, Reno 10X Zoom, uh, there's also performance. Again, the Snapdragon 855 processor, and what I liked about using this device and the processor is that when you're gaming, you're spending time, and by the way, guys, I am terrible at playing mobile Fortnite, so yes, just know that off the bat, but while you're playing those games, they run really well, and you've got just open real estate, screen real estate for it. Now, you guys would probably say, oh yes, we've seen that with the OnePlus, and yes, Oppo is the parent company of OnePlus, just to take note if you don't know that. So this is where some of that technology is coming from, and you see them executed here really, really well. Now let's go back to that shark fin front-facing camera, which is really nice. It pops up really fast, especially when you're using it for face unlock. It's very responsive. If you swipe up the screen to unlock your, unlock your screen, it pops up, boom, and, and unlocks. Now, I'm not sure how secure it is, but in terms of just convenience, it's convenient enough. Plus, again, that in-display fingerprint sensor is really nice. So you're thinking, okay, look, Thunder E, it's got all these features. It's got all the you know, specs the camera, which we get to in a second, performance and gaming. And I got to go back to that. I really love the fact that we have devices with just, you know, all screen so I can game and enjoy in peace. I love that. I really like that because it just takes your gaming to a whole different level where um, you can see everything. Everything's just right there in front of you. I, I, I can't just tell you how excited I am to see more and more of these 
uh, devices out there. And again, at a price point that is relatively effective for most consumers. Now you're wondering, what about OS? It's running Android 9, so the latest version of Android is currently in the market, but it also has its own skin called Color OS. Now Color OS is, uh, of course, it's Android, but it's got its own feel to it. Now in terms of look and feel, I'm okay with it. Now, some people might not like it, but if you've ever seen Color OS in the past, this is a huge step forward. Being able to easily access, of course, your uh, apps there. You've also got um, uh, gestures, and the gestures are similar to what you have on the uh, OnePlus gestures as well. So that's also pretty good to see. Now, in terms of just the look and feel, it can look a little foreign, especially when you're going down the notification tray. But that too gives you a couple of options. You've got your power save mode. Uh, you've got Oppo Share, being able to quickly share between Oppo devices. Uh, if you have a friend that has one, uh, one of the, oh, an Oppo device as well. Uh, you can also go into the settings and see some of the things you have. Now, because Oppo is trying to capitalize on what this device can do with the A55 processor, um, you also have a game center and that optimizes uh, for gaming. So once you actually turn on the game, boom, it optimizes those games to run at the highest frequency for your um, your CPU and also turns off, you know, uh, it may, puts calls on hold, uh, you know, different things, optimizes your Wi-Fi so you can get the best out of your gaming performance on the device. And as I mentioned, gaming on this thing is really, really good. Now, let's talk about the camera. So starting with the front-facing camera, which is a 60 megapixel shooter, there's a lot of detail. There's an indoor shot. You can see me quite clearly. My skin tone is also normal. Make sure you turn, of course, the beautification mode off. But I like the fact that for a Chinese manufacturer, I am not looking, you know, pale or washed out. Now, this is directly in sunlight. Uh, again, you can see the different gradations of my skin tone. You can also see the sky at the back. Not as much dynamic range there, but I do like here my friend Narav. You can see a lot of detail in his face, character, and around him. Now, this is a portrait shot with Michael Josh, Narav, Michael Josh from Gadish Match. And the portrait shots are good, they're not great. It tends to widen out, whiten out uh, sometimes. So, so you get shots like this where the background is very bright as opposed to us. We're still in focus and there's a nice uh, cutoff all around. Now, this is just a, a lovely daytime shot. I love the way the shadows hit and I also love the, the dynamic range. I love the way the colors pop out. Now, it, it pops out a little bit more than natural, but I do like this look. Also here, we've got a lot of flower. Um, the yellow really pops out. You can see how the sun has been calmed down around. It was in direct sunlight taking the shot. So I do like this look. It's something, again, it's more of a preference, but it's something I do like. Now, in terms of just overall cityscape shots, we don't get a lot of dynamic range, especially in the clouds. Um, there is some AI algorithm, but it kind of gives you this really flat tone look to it. It's something, again, if you do like that, then that's something you like. Now, moving over to the zoom lens. This is the, sorry, the lenses. This is the wide angle lens. It's not as wide as I would like, but again, it does give you a wider aperture, which is nice. And it's something uh, that it does provide it's solid, I'd say. Your standard lens of 48 megapixel lens, again, a lot of that flat tone look to it. So if you're looking for something like that, that you can go ahead and uh, you know edit and change, this is what it will give you. Now, this is a 5X zoom. That's the water tower that we see across there. You can see the lettering pretty clearly. It looks really solid, really nice, clean image of the water tower. And then we go to 10X again, you get it closer, and you can see how good that looks. It looks really nice. A solid look of what we have here and gives us a great clear representation. Now we move to 25x zoom. Again, this is nice. This is a combination. This is all, all, all um, digital, but looks really good. Now we could go to 50, but it looks good. Now this is a low light shot. I love this because this bar is fully lit by candles and you can still see some of that yellow tint there, which I want to keep a really clear and sharp image. I love this shot here. It really showcases the bar, uh, some lighting in the background, but again, you can see that drink highlighted really well. And just to show you some of the lighting and keeping the, the mood, which is something a lot of cameras tend to make it super bright like daylight, which does happen sometimes with this outdoor shot. But I think overall, they've really hit the mark with some really clean uh, photography here on the uh, uh, Reno 10X Zoom. So, like I said, the camera is just really, really good. I was quite impressed. Uh, I think it's much better than what you have with the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro, and OnePlus has done a huge job in improving there. So, and this also 
really stunned me on the night mode, looking at that and going, wow, wow. This is kind of like what Huawei does, you know, it differs from what the Pixel does. I like the fact that it still keeps a lot of the natural feel to the scene there. Now, there's a lot to like about this device. You know, the fast charging is really good. The supercharging, it tops up your device as quickly as possible. Uh, you've also got the, um, you know, you've got those cameras, you've got that display. You've got a device that just works pretty well. And again, starting at 629 and going to about 750, it's a world worth the device if you can pick it up. Now, I have some links for you guys down below to go check them out if you want to. Uh, so go ahead and do that if you're looking to pick up this device. But I'm happy to see this open up in different markets. And this is the kind of stuff that we want. We want competition. That's what a lot of people talk about. And we finally are getting this in droves. We saw the OnePlus, we've seen this device here, the Reno 10X Zoom, capitalizing on the fact that it can also do that, you know, uh, you know, long lens zoom that we, we want to see in smartphones plus gives us a really low light a good low light camera it has the performance all packed into one and that's pretty good now this device also comes with a case as well in the packaging so that's also nice to see that Oppo provides that because it's not a well-known property especially here in the west so that's that's a good thing uh, that at least they keep in mind whether it's something you do in the other markets that you deal with i'm not too sure but it's good to see and it's good to see all that change with oppo remember oppo had the find x last year the first device with the bezel display but it was a slide up mechanism and it was also over a thousand dollars think about it last year oppo had a device at a thousand bucks with a slide out with a bezel display and a, a sliding camera this year they have a shark fin and a bezel display and it's only starts at 629 that's what i like about this device and i, I hope you guys are excited about this because i'm really excited to see smartphones get that delineation down where pricing and affordability makes sense for most consumers so guys if you have any questions or any comments or you, uh, you want to leave a note with us, leave that down below. If you want any of the wallpapers, I'll have the links for you guys down below. Also, thank you very much for listening, watching, and subscribing to the channel. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.